Welcome to the Dan Anderson Show. Today, I will be talking about uh, Mega Man, uh, Mega Man X, the first game. So, um, uh, I don't really have like a history with this series. Um, I knew about the Mega Man like games because of uh, like K Wings reviews. You know, uh, Nightwing One. He um, did reviews of like like um, all ten, like when the new ones were coming out. He reviewed those, and he also reviewed the classic man, Mega Man games. So I've known about Mega Man for basically over 10 years now, and I've known about the Mega Man X games for well since some call um, since some call me Johnny's um, videos about them. So I'm f while I'm more familiar with um, Mega Man games. Or, you know the, the classic Mega Man games. I've never really played any of them um, because I, I just didn't know how, like the Wii, um, like the Wii uh, games store really worked, and I didn't know how to get like coins there. So I ended up missing out really on the classic Mega Man games. So when I, so I was like, okay, and uh, I've known about the Legacy Collection basically for. Um, for like about a year, and uh, just said, you want to what? Uh, I'm stuck here because of the comic cough. Why not play them? So I did, and the Mega Man X, like Mega Man X, is one of the hardest games I've like ever played. Um, it, this game is like really hard. Um, I died a lot, and that's definitely going to considerably color my review. So if you don't really like <laughs> my review, or you don't agree with my review because uh, I couldn't handle the difficulty of the game, then I'm sorry because I just died. I really couldn't. Um, the game is um, difficult just basically throughout the uh, through the general um, just for like the simple fact that it's an old um, game. So basically, the story is that um, X is uh, I guess he's sort of like the successor to uh, the classic Mega Man. And um, uh, X is one of Dr. Light's last creations. And uh, Dr. Light, you know, created him with like the most like ultimate computer ever and um, decided to put him on ice for a bunch of years in the hopes that uh, whenever he woke up, the world really wouldn't need him to be um, a fighter. It, they would just need him to be a normal robot. And he, um, unfortunately that didn't happen for him. And um, Sigma, who is the leader of the Maverick Hunters, basically Mavericks are like these rogue, are these rogue like Reploids. And Reploids are very much like replicants from, um, they're very much like replicants from uh, uh, Blade Runner. And if you know know me, uh, Blade Runner is my favorite Ridley Scott movie. So I, I'm already my ears are kind of intrigued. You know, I'm intrigued by that premise. But basically, um, uh, the Maverick Hunters are you know they hunt the the rogue Reploids, and I believe um, X is a Reploid. But they basically go around and they're hunting the rogue reploids and who've become maverick or who have become mavericks and uh, Sigma at one point is just like you want to what screw this I'm done I'm uh, take, taking over the world basically and uh, his plan is to basically kill um, all reploids basically um, not just the mavericks but all reploids and uh, it's up to X and his good friend Zero, who's a lot more powerful than him, to stop him. 
And basically, it's a traditional Mega Man game where you go around and you fight all the bad guys. And I actually looked up a strategy guide and it told me to go to the penguin guy first. Um, chill penguin, I believe. And that level was hard. Um, it, it took me like maybe um, a few, it took me like a few tries to get it. Um, and I actually watched um, the playthrough that I'm showing you right now. I actually watched it quite a few times just to figure out, okay, okay, this is what I go, or this is what I do, this is how I go do it. And when it comes to having, you know, a guide, you know, um, I think uh, the, what I'm showing you, he did in like four minutes or something like that. He, he went through, like, before getting to actual chill penguin, I think he did it like in four minutes or something like that. And honestly, that's impressive because I, because, you know, um, a legitimate criticism that I have of the game is that the, um, is that it has those classic game sort of problems. Uh, there's, uh, bottom, there's bottomless pits, um, and when you get hit by, um, like an enemy, uh, there's, you get, like, frozen and stuff, like, you know, you just don't get hit, and it's, like, you know, lose your health, but you're still kind of stationary, it's, you get hit, and you freeze, and then you can get, like, hit again or something like that, and that's very annoying, um, and I, I wish I had more fun with the game, I guess it got more fun the more I went, um, about playing it, but I do legitimately wish that the game was just a wee bit more um, fun because uh, the music, unfortunately, um, I didn't really like the music all that much, and uh, but the graphics looked nice, um, and I and I dug the story of the game, but like the rest of it, I just couldn't really enjoy um, the way I figured that this game probably would be enjoyed and hopefully the next game sort of fixes my my problems of like you know bottomless pits and uh you know getting granted it's, a, it's still a classic mega man or it's still you know an old uh, uh snes game so that might not actually happen but I, uh, my hope is that it gets a little bit better as we go further down along uh, further down the line so this game is um recommended by me and I'm gonna give it like okay so uh, this might upset some people but considering how many times I died um like seriously how many times I died and uh, the just uh, standard um, issues that a game like this has um, I also didn't really necessarily like the music, so I'm gonna, I guess be fair since this is like a classic Mega Man game, and I'll be fair and say that it's like maybe a, a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, really, I should probably give it a 6.5 out of 10, but I'll give it, I'll be fair to this classic game uh, from like 1993 probably, or maybe later, and basically say, you know, um, and basically give it a, uh, you know, a 7.5 out of 10. I think that's fair to do. So tell me, um, did you like this game? Did my not so raving review uh, help you with it? Um, this is a classic game. It has some nice atmosphere and, you know, I'm sure it's fun for some people, but um, it wasn't necessarily fun, super fun for me, unfortunately, but, uh, I'll see you maybe not next time, but I'll see you next time with, um, my Mega Man, uh, X2 review. So, um, so remember, Gami is special. He loves you very much. Um, I want you to, uh, make sure that you wash your hands and stay safe. And this has been the host of the Danerson Show, Danerson, obviously. Signing out. Bye.